let's get it. I did this shit for the city. I did this shit for the foe. I did this shit for my niggas. I do nothing for these hoes. In the kitchen with the bag. Let's get it. I'm a ball chest. Let's get it. I show you with scrap out. What's going on, everybody? This is Sean Wayne with G Way TV. And who I got with me? This is Marcy Malone. Tell the people who you are and what you do, Marcy. Oh, my name is Marcy Malone, and I am a female rapper. But it's not just a female rapper, it's just a rapper, period. Kill niggas, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> so we going like that? I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so just rap, no R&B, no other I mean, I try. I'm a, a, a writer. I put, you know, I write for uh, other people as well. I know how to record myself. Okay. Video engineer, yeah. 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 engineer and uh, video. I know how to edit pictures. I'm not doing that. Well, she, that's, that's I'm cool. in entertainment. So, you ain't got to outsource. You know what I'm saying? Keep all that money to yourself. Um, where are you from? I am from Florida. I was born in Miami, but raised in Tallahassee. I am a Florida girl. And you came to Atlanta for the music or? Yeah, definitely. How long ago? Uh, 2014. Mm. Okay, so my next question was what kind of artist are you, but I can already tell you like um, a gangster, I am not. shoe up, trap, I, I, I mean be not. all mine and more. Um, <laughs> no, I'm an artist. I make music that I feel like I I might do a country song or I might do a... Hotel Road shit, that's what you're talking I mean that or for, uh, some opera, just how I feel. Like okay. don't, I don't want to be boxed. Please don't box me. Don't box I, me. I'm way too wrong to okay. be boxed. Definitely, I definitely feel a lot of a lot of artists feel that way too. I'm not just a rapper, like I'm an artist. Right. I can do this, 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 Jack and Mindy Trey, so yeah. ain't nothing wrong with feeling like that. What made you want to be an artist? Um I okay, my mom's a teacher. Okay. So uh she used to always like give me dictionaries and just tell me about words and stuff like that. And so um I really got into it and I started writing poetry. And once I realized I could write poetry, like I started getting into the music. Like I was I'm a little bit older. So um, I came up when hip hop was about lyrics. Okay. So um, who we talking about? Who's on the radio? Um. That you was like, damn, that nigga lyrical. Oh man, Jay Z's my favorite rapper. Like, okay. I mean, I have hoes for the rock club. <laughs> nah, but um, like I like female artists, Queen Latifah, um, MC Light. Uh, okay. Um, Kim, Kim is my favorite female rapper. Like okay. she did it. She set a standard. Well, what I, I I just said this earlier. Without Kim, there's no. Any of these? It, it's rappers. no Barbies. It's no yeah, it's um, none of that today. Yeah, it's no, it's no cat. I'm not saying cat style. Shout out to cat style, but it's no dolls. Cat it's no um, shit. It's no none of that. Like she took it from it being, you know, most female rappers like Queen Latifah, MC like they was kind of rugged, rough around the edges. Kim took it to, you know, sexy, sexy fashion icon. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a lady. I'm gonna spit it. I'm gonna be me. And I loved it. Like and she's a cat. So shout out to her. So those would be some of your musical influences. Oh, as yeah. far as female rappers, what about male rappers? Oh, um, male Jay Z. Jay Z, like you said, yeah. Definitely my favorite rapper. Um, love Wayne. Um, uh, Wayne Wayne was that guy for me. Um, nah. And, and you you give me like a a New York feel. You said you from Florida. Yeah. And then Jay Z being your favorite rapper too. That's. I mean, cause like, I rare. came up in the era where well, I st- I'm a student of the game. Okay. And I studied rap, and I like most lyrical artists like M. J, Big, I love Biggie. Um, like I just used to study they flow and study they vibe, and it was like, shit, that's where it started, really, though. Okay. So, Quick question, Renegade, Jay Z, or Eminem, who got that? Oh, and I'm gonna be so honest, M, M, M snap though, like he snapped, but Jay Z gave us, he gave us a, a feel, a story of of the hood. Eminem gave a story too, but it was more he, he something else. He did, but M snap, like. <sighs> When I say his cadence, it fits the song. Yeah. Like his, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, like he wrote that, he wrote the beat. Not saying Jay didn't, but he just, he got in that pocket. Yeah. In that lane. I think that that's way. why everybody really fucks with Eminem, because he can get in that pocket. Yeah. Oh you God. know what I'm saying? But me personally, when it comes to like storytelling, where I come from, my background, I don't really feel it like that. Yeah, because he's, yeah, well, he's different, you know, his, his story is a little his outlandish. Is from, yeah, you yeah. know, I killed my mom. Right, right. From, <laughs> so me as a black kid, yeah, I respect the hell out my mom. You know, Tupac taught me that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I couldn't really get into an artist now coming out saying, yo, yeah, fuck my mom. Right, right, right. right. That's just me, but uh, we'll, we'll get on something else. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, like right now I have my own... Um, label, well, I didn't say label, but, but my own company, um, Pink Mob. I just want to develop more female artists. Man. Pink Mob. Tell me about Pink Mob. Um, pretty Intelligent, Natural Killers, Mob, and Money Over Brokenness. Mm. Money Over Broke Niggas or none of that. Just Money Over Brokenness. And um, 
It's just a mob of females where we come together because I'm all, I'm all about female empowerment. And mm-hmm. I think as far as females in the game, like right now it's, it's dope that a lot of females are getting noticed. Uh, it took a minute. You know, Nikki held it down for 10 years and it was... It was, it was kind of feel like she boxed me out for 10 years, though. I mean, I'm gonna hey, be honest. hey, I'm sorry. hey. I don't mean to be controversial, but we is talking. I, I mean, kind of feel like she boxed ladies out for 10 years, and when Cardi came in, Cardi showed love to every female and, artist. And, you know and, and I feel like, shout out to Cardi, I feel like that's a, it can be two queens, or, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, queens rule at the same time. Mm-hmm. I, I don't care about what you do as a female artist because nobody can out March them along March them I don't care. Like, Worry about yourself. Time. Yeah, when it's time, Worry when about it's time to be me, I'm going to do me. Like, mm-hmm. Can't okay, so nobody do you like you do exactly. you. Exactly. I'm all, all praise to the female rappers. Um, what, who are some indie female rappers that you... Right now, I love like? Cash Doll. Um, um, any Atlanta female artists that you linked with at any of these shows, anything like that? No, not really. Um, Hazel 2K, she just, uh, she really just started popping off, but I, I, I'm going to work with her. Um... My other homegirl, she's Noir. She's from Florida, though. Okay. Not really known. That's cool. Yeah, Noir, Noir Bella. Okay. Um, I do with a lot of female rappers in Florida, definitely. Okay. But that's because I'm, you know, I'm always back and forth. Where you at? So I'm trying to hit the Atlanta. Yeah, I'm trying to hit the Atlanta scene more. Like okay. I really came here and started working and got off the music. <laughs> Okay. Gotcha. Well, Atlanta, shit. Atlanta got jobs, opportunities. I know. You so if do... you say you don't have a job in Atlanta, you're lying. Yeah, so. you're, you're lazy, <laughs> you're broke, <laughs> you got a broke mind, what? and it's... Oh. Nah, we're not doing all that. Uh, let's get more to you, though. If you can only listen to two albums for the rest of your life, which two albums would they be? Oh, two albums for the rest of my life. Two Five Indian Star Lives. That was one of my favorite albums. And... Will Kim Harper. Okay. What is hip hop lacking? Originality. Most oh, definitely. What does hip hop need to get rid of? Uh, because it's ninety percent business and ten percent talent, we need to take it back to being talent. I understand it's a business, but I feel like it's a cookie cutter. Like I can make an artist. I oh yeah, most definitely. I put on a lace front. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I do a, a, a twerking song, yes, you know, get a little, yes. maybe if I for the dudes get tattoos on my face, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. then. You're gonna get noticed. Uh, throw a little auto tune on there, definitely. You can pick like, anybody off the street and make them an artist these days. I think we need to get back to what it where where it started, the originality of it all. And East Coast was East Coast, the West Coast sounded like the West Coast. Like I hear so artists, blended. yeah, I hear artists now like, oh, you from New York, but you sound like you're from Georgia. So blended. Like how? <laughs> um, what do you need when you're in the studio? Me, mm-hmm. a good beat, good vibes, and maybe a drink. What kind of drink? What are we drinking? Uh, I have a Hennessy. Hennessy? <laughs> okay. <From> Sheesh. <laughs> nah, I mean, nah. And Duce. I love Duce. Yeah, I'll, I'll if if it's no Hennessy, then I'll... I mean, if it's no Duce, then I'll take Hennessy. Okay. If you was headlining the tour, which two artists would you bring with you? Ooh, right now. Right now? Okay, are we talking about money-wise? I'm saying, do you want the money? Do you just want to come to the show? Of course. Oh, so who would you man. want to do? Money wise, I would take Drake and Cardi. Definitely. Of course. It's going to sell nostalgia. Like I said, Hov and Kim. Hov and Kim. I think both would go crazy, though. They would. Both would go crazy. Hov and Kim on the same. Oh, man. That would, that would go crazy. Um, 420? 420 friendly? I mean, I do. I gotta be there, but I'm not, I'm not. So when you got the munchies, what you eat? Oh man, chips. Um, I really don't do sweet stuff, but definitely chips. I'm a, I'm a, I like chips. Okay. Uh, Hot fries. And before we leave, what are you pushing right now? Tell the people uh, what you got going on, what's the album, what's the single, where can they find um, it, all that good stuff. Right now, I don't have, like, I'm working. I'm not even working on the album because I want to do singles. Okay. Like, I feel like a lot of music goes wasted and you put a whole album mm-hmm. out and you're, I'm working on building my brand. So right now I'm working on a single. I have a single called uh, I Make the Beat. And, and I'm going to push that. And then I have another one coming after that called um, Band. What are you performing right now? I make the beat. I make the beat, okay. Um, a video for it? Yeah, definitely. Where can they find a video at? No, I don't have a video. Oh, okay. I'm not about to show okay. it. Okay, okay. But okay. I do, if you, if you Google me, you too, you too, Marshall, Marshall Law, I have like 50. Google her. That's Please. what she said at the show last night. Google, Google me. me. Stop. See, I'm excited to Google me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have any shout-outs, anything you want to say to people before we dip up out of here? Um, I just want to give a shout-out to all the females that's doing it. Y'all stay strong. Um, like I said, Noir Black, that's my, Noir and Black, that's my homies. I see y'all, y'all keep pushing, um, Kane, KT, who else, uh, my little boot thing, definitely, um, and just anybody that's out there doing it, man, keep
keep grinding it, even though it might seem hard, like I've been doing it for a minute, just keep pushing. Those doors gonna open. Those doors definitely gonna open. Wise words, please keep that gem, take it, yeah. and heed to it. This Sean Wayne, she wait TV, who I got with me one more time. Ma, see, Malone. We out. Foot in your neck. All in your chest. Like some fucking flow. You doing this all year. Ma, see, Malone. Yeah. When it comes to this rap shit, I don't see nan, bitch yeah. I done heard them all and they all on the same Man. shit I'm tired of hearing about how what your pussy get it Truthfully, you yet to drop a hit, we still waiting for it I knew this day would come, I hope you're ready for uh -huh. it Gun shape, state, it's mine, you banned out of it Violate and get handled accordingly Put them sticks out of shit and get disorderly